All right, so let's check this out. So we have an AE1398 board that won't turn on. So first thing I'm gonna do is plug in the charger and see what I get. And it's drawing 0.168 amps on my power supply. 0.168 amps is actually a really nice number. See, if we're drawing 0.02 amps, that would mean that I'm most likely missing PM Sleep S4L. That's no fun. Why are you hissing? PM oh, PM Sleep S4L. I approve. I would hiss at that as well. So it's not missing PM Sleep S4L, so I'm not going to go... <laughs> that doesn't make me want to hiss. We may actually get off easy with there being some short on some power rail that's going to be easy breezy to figure out. So the reaction to yesterday's video is interesting. I actually feel a little bit bad now. I feel a little, little, little mean. I mean, like, the, the, guy, the guy deserved to get served, but some of the comments he's getting... Sheesh. Somebody's got to practice how they hit the report spam button. That guy was a moron since Doc Vault. Yeah. That's the thing. I tried to do the video where I was respectfully stating my case. And it started out that way. And by the time I got to the end of the video, I just... Like, you can see my patience went down the further I was going. I started that off with the best of intentions. I started that video off with the absolute best of intentions. And that is what it turned into. I mean, I, I, I couldn't. That's the thing. It's not... I don't care if somebody likes Apple. I don't care if they... If, you know, if you like Final Cut Pro and Logic and you like iMessage integrating with the computer, that, that's great. That's cool. I have no problem with that. But I don't like when Apple uses the fact that they have this great ecosystem to abuse their customers and to make them think that there's something wrong with them when it's actually something wrong with Apple. That bothers me. On PPBus G3 Hot, we get 12.57. All right, so let's move on to the next rail. PPVRTC G3 Hot. 3.3. PP5 ES5 comes next. 5 volts, and it's consistent. PP5 ES4. 5 is there. All right, so we're in an S4 state. Let's see, is PP5 ES3 there? Zero point one three. So we're not in an S three state. All right, let's try and figure out why we're not in an S three state. Where does PP five ES three come from? That's gonna come from this FET. That's gonna come from P five ES three ENL enable. All right, so that's gonna come from P five ES three EN and that's gonna come from P PM sleep S four uh, uh oh. No, 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 no. Damn it. Paul's hiss was correct. When Paul hissed it was entirely on point. We might be missing PM sleep S four L. Yes, it's 0 0.05, but that doesn't make any sense. That's not a valid state. I say, <laughs> all right, well, let's see if PC3V3S5 is present. By the way, thank you for the 100 rube. Excellent video on Bengay deniers. May I ask, when and how did you learn about Tylo, Tylo, Tylosive Tech? Uh, I learned about Tylosive Tech from all of you commenting constantly for the past three months saying, please respond to this person. And I don't do response videos. It's not my thing, but it was the ev... Every single day somebody would ask, and then I saw that. I don't, the thing is, I don't care if you defend Apple products. I don't care. What I, what I care about is when you say that it didn't happen. Don't deny the experience of the users. Don't deny the experience of the abused. That's all I'm asking. It didn't piss me off in the sense of you're defending Apple's bad products. I, fine, whatever. It pissed me off from the sense that you're denying the experience of the abused. It's, it's like listening to somebody defend a, you know, Chris Brown after he beat Rihanna, that kind of thing. So missing PM Sleep S4L. So PM Sleep S4L is going to come from the PCH. The PCH is going to create that signal. That's where it starts. And the PCH is powered by PP3V3S5. So we have PP3V3S5, but we're missing PM Sleep S4L. So let's take a look around the PCH area and see if anything there looks nasty. Just going to give this board a nice look over. You put this thing back together. Okay, now let's have a vote. Let's let chat decide. Let's have chat decide. All right, check this out. No, come back here. We're going we're gonna to see. Who's deciding this? All right, if somebody puts a machine back together like this, is the person who didn't notice it equally culpable as the person no, who I did it? That. That wasn't me. Okay, so who did it? He did. Wait, so you're saying he did it? <laughs> I literally put the motherboard in. I didn't put ah! I miss being a one person business sometimes. Holy shit. Daniel says he didn't. Daniel did. But he you. He just left it there for two days. Yeah. Even after you told him to put it together. Okay, if, if you see this, if you see the cable plugged in like this. It was, the cable was plugged in like this instead of the other way around. Mm. Why are you lying about being I the one that put it back together? I did not put that cable on. I put the logic board in the machine. That's all I did. Come here, hey, come here Danny. One sec. Get up, get up. 
I think it's time that you two settle this the way that you're supposed to, with violence. All right, so I'm suggesting. Come on. Go up. No, you left it there. No, you looked at me dead in my face and said, I'm not doing this. And then walked away. Even yeah. though, even, wait, before you talk, you even said that. Lewis said that I have to close this up before 8 o'clock. I am right. not He's doing right. this. I come in tomorrow and then it's still there. I'm sitting here like, okay, He's right. let me not say anything about this. And then Steve even said that you to do it. And then he was like, fuck it. Put it in Derek's status. And... <laughs> okay, both of you, both of you go outside, and whoever manages, whoever manages to come back in, will be the person who still works here. I don't know who put the cable there. But you that was not put me. it in. That was not me. I watched you put everything. Yeah, I put the board in the, in the case. I didn't you put the cable in there. The only thing I did was put the screws back in. Steve, can you decide who still works here in the half hour? I can't do this anymore. That sounds like a job for management. <sighs> So, back to why PM Sleep S4L is missing on this 8200426 board. It appears we have PP Bus G3 hot, we have PP5 ES5, we have PP3 V3 ES5, but we're missing PM Sleep S4L. However, PM Sleep S4L is not in a valid state. It's not 0 volts, it's not 3.3 volts, it's 0 0.06 volts, which doesn't seem to be correct. So, that's not a valid state. Board's got a little, a couple of pubes on it, but certainly not enough pubes to. Uh, aha! What is this? What's that? Ooh! Did I get an easy one? I got an easy PM Sleep S4L missing. Look at that! Look at the solder balls. Well, that was an interesting stereo. Ooh! I'm curious what that is because I gotta add this to my list of things that kill PM Sleep S4L. So what are you? You're the USB port power switch. So. Could a USB port power switch do this? And this is also interesting. Not heat gunned. You can see the way that this failed, this hasn't been touched before. Those are solder balls that popped out as a result of the chip burning. And if you look really close in on the chip, you'll see that it's burned and that on the top of it, it's actually bent. See that? It's not an even surface. I'm going to try to get this at, a, at an angled view for you so that you can see what I mean when I say that's not an even surface. All right, see, so do you see that? In the middle of the chip, it's sticking up a little bit. So I bet if I take this USB power port circuitry off that we're going to have a fan spin. Yeah, the... All right, so I'm going to plug this machine in. And as you can see, our PM Sleep S4L problem is gone. It's turning on and it works. 